Hi, everybody. Uh, Mawson here. I'm very excited to doing this panel talk with our friends at AGI Denim and Panzer Biotech. We've got two great companies who are like, actually like collaborating in the field of hemp technology, and it's so exciting. We've got Hassan Javed, we've got Ali Tuckin from AGI Denim, Dixie and Scott from Panzer Biotech. Welcome, everyone. So we're going to go straight into the first question. Back in April 2021, it was announced that both AGI Denim and Panzer Biotech entered into a global production partnership. What benefits does this mean to the consumer? And I'm going to go straight to Hassan first. Thank you for having me, Mohsin. In recent years, there's been a big shift towards sustainable fibers, and hemp is definitely leading the way when it comes to alternate and eco-friendly fibers. The biggest benefit that we see from this partnership is that for our customers, and in particular for those based in the United States, Panda Biotech's hemp is an easily traceable American-grown product right in the center of the country. So from the farms that are growing the fiber to the ginning processing and cartonization, which is done at Panda's state-of-the-art facility in Texas, it offers complete visibility and quality assurance. And this is within an industry that is still trying to address the issue of transparency within its supply chain. The collaboration with AGI Denim and Panda Biotech allows both companies and their brand partners to identify, track, and trace the hemp fiber as it moves along the supply chain from raw material to finished goods. And it provides peace of mind to consumers who will know exactly where their products originate. And the whole process is backed by Oritane. So for us, this seems to be the biggest benefit. Amazing. And Dixie, welcome. What benefits does this mean to the average Joe and for designers and like consumers? Well, I think that the conscious consumer is now demanding, uh, you know, change happen and they want a more sustainable product with more sustainable processing as well. You know, I think that many in the industry know the benefit of hemp, industrial hemp. It takes a, a fraction of the water. It remediates the soil for the farmer. It's, it absorbs more CO2 than any forestry or crop in, on the planet. You combine that with all the product benefits, which are equally as exciting to us. I mean, the durability, um, it's resistant to shrinking and, and um, UV and uh, bacterial, antibacterial. And so it's so many important qualities that it has that I think once people recognize not only the sustainability benefits, but that you're getting a fantastic product that will make products, current products even better, that's what's really exciting. Absolutely right. Cottonized hemp has been around since the mid eighties, but recently it's come into its own with like technologies in both like mechanical and chemical degumming processes of the vast fiber. What kind of processes is Bando Biotech using? And, and, and of course, there have been concerns regarding the chemical side and the whole sustainability and transparency. So what are the pros and cons and what are the differences between like mechanical and like processes? Scott, if you don't mind answering for us. Thanks for having me, Motion. Um, here at Panda, we're utilizing both, both processes. All of our fiber starts with a mechanical cottonization process. And we have a lot of confidence in that product, especially for the denim world. Based on the work we've been doing with our spinning partners and universities, you know, that mechanically cottonized fiber lends itself to denim very well. This is quite an amazing turning point for your company as well, hence the partnership with like AGI. Well, it's happening all over the world, which is really exciting to us. And, you know, this is not a problem. The environmental problems are not a problem that we can kick down the road anymore. And if you ask me in 2021, you know, about cotton, I'd say, you know, cotton is always going to play an important role, but it's not sustainable for the long term. And so we know that by blending hemp in with any natural or synthetic fiber, we will be making not only a stronger product with better benefits, but we're also going to be helping solve this issue. And I really believe that the textile industry and the denim industry in particular can really be a leader in this space. Super. Um, uh, Dixie, your thoughts on like the last hundred years and the smear campaigns, you know, all of us have grown up with having, uh, having an idea about hemp and everything. So, you know, what's your thoughts on how we can slightly change that mindset for the younger generation and for young designers? Yeah, I think, I think today's headlines that are tragic on uh, the problems that our world are facing are going to help us quickly get over the giggle factor, yeah. you know, yeah. on uh, whether it's the concern over what it is. I think people will recognize that hemp is a common commodity, a crop that's no different 
different than cotton or corn or, or soybean, but it has infinitely more sustainable benefits and product benefits. So, you know, we feel like, uh, you know, if you looked at during COVID, you know, we saw mountain ranges we hadn't seen in decades, you know? So I think when you really register that there is change and it can happen. It can happen one consumer at a time. It can happen one pair of jeans at a time. I think that's really exciting. Antemp has had a hundred years where it was like commercially illegal to actually grow it. Now there's a kind of a space race now to try and catch up. And obviously newer type of technologies that companies are sort of implementing. Is there anything that your company is actively doing, which is really quite amazing and quite new and something that we should learn about? Uh, Scott? You know, Hassan hit on it earlier, but we're really excited about our partnership with Oritane, a company that uses forensic science to, to prove that the fiber in our garments is sourced where we say it's from and provide full traceability and confidence for the consumer. So traceability, transparency, that's huge right now. And, and Oritane is, is helping us be the most traceable hemp fiber on the planet. Hassan, obviously, there's, you know, this is hemp's being fairly new, especially in Pakistan and especially all, all over the world. We're all starting to like use it, but you must have had lots of technical issues using this fiber. Do we need to invent new like machines or go back to like Toyota and some of these like leading like sort of machine like manufacturers spinners and convince them to try and look at hemp more closely? Yeah, certainly. I think uh, the industry will also have to evolve and, and make certain adjustments. Um, you know, we've discussed earlier about all the different benefits that hemp has. So uh, we can just process it the way that, you know, we're processing other fibers. Uh, we'll have to make certain adjustments. Earlier this month, uh, we started production at our state-of-the-art new spinning facility with the latest technology and, and automation. So it has completely bespoke machinery to handle alternate fibers such as hemp. And we've completely customized our, our blow room lines, our carding equipment, the ring spinning machinery. A lot of R&D has to be done, um, you know, as to how to spin the fiber. Uh, but certainly once we get there, then I think we can definitely unlock a lot of benefits. Amazing. Um, AGI Denim, like this year, was awarded gold level credit to cradle certification for the latest hemp-based fiber material, Hemp X, by using Panda Biotech's cottonizing process. What other exciting like, certifications is like AGI hoping to achieve fairly soon? Um, Ali? As a raw material and as a process line, we have a huge range of sustainabilities and we have a different kind of certification, which we have already and which we are expecting. We need to share a very clear picture with our customer. Otherwise, it is just the world. We are getting some verification from the third laboratory for our double zero technology and for our refresh technology. We just launched the refresh concept just six months ago. It is meaning that in the fabric production line, we are using zero fresh water. And also for the garden stage, we are using the recycled water. There is no any fresh water there. And we are getting the verification. We have the reports, how much water we are saving. Amazing. Can't really beat that. So that's pretty awesome. Hemp certainly a like miracle plant from its low water like consumption to benefits to the soil. The fact that it like vacuums up like toxins and chemicals and heavy metals out of the soil. And, you know, one acre of hemp produces more oxygen than, than 25 acres of a forest. What actually excites each of you personally for the future of hemp? I'll go straight to Scott first. Um, what excites me is the possibility of hemp and we're just scratching the surface now. So, you know, we're focusing on fiber and textiles. That's a fraction of the plant. We use a hundred percent of this plant, which is rare. So 20 years from now, seeing all the products that you're used to and seeing how many of them now contain hemp that's really what excites me about the future. Superb. And like Dixie? Well, I think to add to that, in the not so distant future, I see, you know, hemp being blended with almost anything made with cotton or synthetic fibers. And I think that will be a really uh, great, easily accomplishable uh, goal for us to have. Amazing. And Ali? We will be the part of the hemp future with the Panda Biotech. And this could some opportunity for the denim industry future with the environment friendly hemp fiber and with the high quality, with the eco-conscious apparel. So AGI and Panda Biotech create this huge uh, support for the future of hemp. And Hassan, what, what excites you the most about the hemp collaboration and hemp, like hemp, and hemp in general? Well, what excites me the most is the water saving benefit because we do uh, belong to a water scarce region. And that's why we've got various different initiatives 
to recycle water, to treat water, to save water. And the water saving benefits of hemp compared to other fibers, even compared to cotton, it only uses a small fraction of the water uh, in the growing stage. So that excites me the most. Amazing. Uh, this has been a, a real pleasure for me to host. And thank you again to AGI Denim for allowing me to be the host for this talk. It's quite al always fun talking about hemp. I wish you guys all the best. And I hope our viewers enjoy the rest of Kingpin's 24 and the actual Kingpin show. Thank you so, so much.